So guys, what's going on? Uh, there's just some news breaking. Apparently, James the Girl has called a career or called retirement on his career. The right decision was made, guys. Um, James the Girl, a fantastic career, Olympic gold medalist, uh, done a lot in the sport. Uh, but let's be honest, the time was right. The time was right for him to call an end to his career. Uh, he looked he looked really bad against uh, uh, Chris Eubank. Eubank was beating him up in that fight and not just that every time uh eubank was hitting james de gale uh james de gale you know was getting wobbled his legs didn't look there he looked really fragile and vulnerable um it's probably the worst i've ever seen james de gale in the ring i think i think james de gale should have retired after the caleb truax fight but i think he was so embarrassed that he lost to a guy like caleb truax that he wanted to uh right the wrong he wanted to make the wrong a right, you know, or right, or right, like I said, right the wrong. I, the, I think I think he was finished when he came back from Badu Jack. I think after the Badu Jack, I think Badu Jack completely ruined him in the sense that I think he was so he had so many injuries coming out of that Badu Jack. Uh, James Aguil was out for so long. He didn't fight after the Badu Jack fight for ages because he was he was, um, you know, he had a lot of injuries, you know. He, had, he was plagued with a lot of injuries, you know, and I, I don't think he was the same fighter ever since. I think he came back just to make a few quid. Uh, but I think in that Caleb Truax fight, we found out that James Aguil wasn't the fighter. He didn't have anything left. Uh, he managed to go and have a very another tough fight with Caleb Truax, a guy that should have beaten easy uh, and managed to get a win uh, second time round to become a two-time champion. But even that wasn't convincing. Um, and, and then um, he fought Chris Eubank Jr., and he got completely beaten up in that fight. I thought, you know, it it was blatant. He didn't want to make an announcement after the fight, but I think after speaking to guys like Paulie Maninaji, Jim McDonnell, I think he understood that his career was over. He wasn't gonna fight again because he can't he can't operate at world level. He can't operate at world level, can you? Fighting like that, he looked horrible in that fight. So you know, James Agil, great career, Olympic gold medalist. Um, uh, Two-time world champion, done a lot, fought some of the top names out there. Take, you know, done well against them. So you got to give the guy a lot, a lot of credit. Um, some people criticised him of not living the life, uh, saying that he never lived the life and he was a party boy. He still achieved a lot in the sport. Listen, he still achieved big things in the sport, didn't he? Uh, you know, so you can't criticise somebody like that. The guy you're, you're criticising him of saying he's a party boy, this that, but he achieved a lot in the sport. Gold medalist, two-time world champion. So you know. You know, Carl Froch always used to give James Aguil a lot of stick. He didn't live the life. But really, Carl Froch didn't win an Olympic gold medal. You know, Carl Froch was a good fighter, but he didn't win Olympic gold. You know what I mean? So it evens itself out. You know, Carl Froch gives a lot, a lot of a lot of guys a lot of stick. But his amateur record, or in terms of winning anything, what did he win? Olympic? Did he win? Did he go, you know, so at the end of the day, you know, you can give someone stick. But, you know, when their achievements... Are just as good as yours. My my opinion, Carl, De Gale's achievements are just as good as uh, Carl Froch because when you add the Olympic gold medal to what he's achieved as a pro, you know that's a big thing. Olympic gold medal is a serious thing. That means you're the top fighter in your weight category in the world. So the Gale's done well. The Gale's done well, and I think I think you know he'll be remembered as a good fighter. Yeah, he won't go down as a great, uh, but he's definitely a very good fighter, a very good British fighter that we've had. Um, and I think he's been in some good, exciting, tough fights. The Badu Jack fight was an epic fight. I think that was his. That was the last time we really saw the best of James DeGale. I think mean, after that, he was he was downhill. That fight took a lot out of him. Uh, but leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think about James DeGale retiring. Do you think he's made the right decision? Uh, guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.